some alcohol content. What's going on? What's up? You know, what's happening? All right. Who who you watching here? We got Ryan. Yeah. Hat Ryan. He's going to the beat. Mm. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, baby. <laughs> DJ Wilby Kush, son. What's up? We got Rick. Not feeling the beat. Wow. <laughs> wow. Get we off the a, grass, we, kids. We got a buzz kill over here. <laughs> White man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doesn't know how to move his feet. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> true. What's rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> and today we have a special episode because we're doing something that we love. Okay. We, yeah, you could tell we might love a certain type of distillery, but we got four roses and we got. This is some single single barrels, okay? Single yeah. barrel barrel strength. Barrel strength. So take away, boys. What do we got here? So we have we've explained this in a previous episode, which was eons ago. Yeah. But Four Roses, one of my favorite distilleries, puts out ten different hot dog single barrel barrel strength uh, recipes, essentially. And what they do is they have two different mash bills. One being higher rye. 35%. The other being 20% rye. And then they have five different yeast strains. So oh then boy. what they do is they do all five yeast strains for a single barrel, each one a different single barrel in one mash bill, and then five in the other. And so we have two different ones. Both of these are each the different mash bill and also a different yeast strain. So these are as different as can be as in far a single as, barrel. As far as here. for them, yeah. yes. Uh, they're both 10 years, three months Ooh. age. Ooh. So the same age. They're slightly different proof. This one's 59.8, so almost 60. This one's 56. Okay. So similar get... proof, but both barrel strength. And yeah, they're all... All the different single barrels are different profiles, and it's really fun to watch how just the yeast itself makes it different. For sure. For sure. So we're going to try OBSV. So that one's OBSV. The other one is OESQ. So B and E are the mash bills, B being the higher mash bill, yep. E being the lower mash bill, lo lower rye mash bill, sorry. And then the last letter is the different yeast. So Q for this one. And, and V for v this for one. one. Yep. And but I'm they're both sure. 10 years, three months. And we've had, we have other ones. Yes. Uh, we do not have all 10, though. Yeah. It's pretty hard. To, I don't know how they distribute each of them, but it's been very hard to find any of them in the last like five years. They used they to be used lined to, they up. Used to yes. be like, I used to see like six to eight of them on the shelf at one time back in the day. So long ago. And I regret not buying all of them. So right now we're drinking OBSV. OBSV. Yep. yep. All right. And these also go for like 80 to 100 bucks in that range. Right. Depending and, on where you're buying it from, what state you're in, right. and which one and it is. And if it's not the I single, ma I mean, if it's not the, uh, uh, the, a uh, cast strength or whatever then it's you know there's barrel proof yeah. but it's uh, it's at a hundred and those they, are about yeah they do have a single barrel single barrel about 45 bucks 45 to 50 dollars which is completely solid it's excellent but yeah so this is and that is a single barrel i want to say it used to be i think it was the obso was is the one that they used for their just generic single barrel and not cast strength I don't know if that's still the case. I don't think they say it on there anymore. Because obviously they've gotten a little more popular now. Great presentation, you know, with the bottle. I, I love the bottle. We, we like, we're Four Roses fans. Yeah. So Single barrel select at 104 proof where they have a number of these recipes blended. And their basic, you know, tan used to be yellow label. It's all 10 recipes for twenty five dollars or whatever. So yeah. yeah. So what is uh what are you guys smelling? I'm Richness. Yeah, I'm getting a heavy spice note and vanilla. Yeah, yeah. rich oh, yeah. vanilla. Definitely rye spice. rye note that's thirty five percent rye. Um I can I'm getting the proof a little bit too. Oh yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's not it's not bad. It's just yeah. part of the experience. Yeah. I totally agree. 
I'm thinking a little little prune or cherry or something on here also. Just a little hint of fruit. Oh, the cherry comes through on the palate. Holy moly. The vanilla yeah, comes through on the palate. The rye. Oh, the rye. Comes through with some spice on the palate. Yeah, agreed. And then the proof just cuts all that right across. Wow. All of them. It's like a, like a katana, just like whooshing. Well, proof. it's really creamy, though. Literally, too. I felt like a diagonal yeah. slash yeah. through my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I felt that, and then you said it. <laughs> <So>. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I get creamy, viscous, creamy. So you said vanilla and cherry. It it brings forth like a vanilla cherry Coke, you know? Yeah. It, yeah. And now smelling it again, it kind of smells like a cherry Coke. Yeah. But, but not super sweet. No, because not like I mean, corn syrup. No, yeah. and the, the rye, it's high rye yeah. for sure. That rye has a nice dance going on. You have the spice of the rye, the high mm. proof. So those are similar feelings. And then you have the creaminess and the cherry and the vanilla that really just Ooh. they meet in the middle. And it's Ooh. just like a battle. And it turns out pretty well. Yeah. Everyone goes home safe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that that is, that's pleasant. That's definitely pleasant. I mean, 10 years, three months. It's a, once again, Four Roses makes things so well that it's compact. And even with this heightened proof, there's some crazy explosion going, but it's still contained. Yeah. yeah. The, the thing I like about them is they're just like, this is how we do things. We have this mash bill, we have this mash bill, and then we have this yeast and this yeast. And then they are pretty transparent, you know, maybe not 100% transparent, they're, but they're pretty damn transparent. They're, no. they're pretty transparent. I mean, you th- can go these... on their own website and stuff, and they have exactly every single okay, mash cool. bill. And these I mean, little tags awesome. have all the different 10 of the all single right. barrels, and they tell you like the profile for each of them, and it's it's super cool. Yeah. And last time I checked, they get at least some of their rye from uh, northern latitude countries like Germany and Sweden and places like that. They Im- they spend the extra dollars to import yeah. the rye from northern Gotta latitudes. Get that German rye. Northern latitudes. Four Roses is one of the oldest distilleries in the United States. It's uh that's I forgot how good these these are. Holy cow. That's that's good. I don't know what it is, but I I just like see them as an underdog. I do too. Yeah. Well, they don't get the fame. Yeah. They don't get the hype around your Buffalo Traces or your, uh, I mean, old, even Old Forester to a certain extent gets more hype than yeah. Four Roses. Mm. And goddamn, they just nail they, it. They, mm. I mean, if you're not a rye fan, then the high rye mash bill is not for you because it's 35% rye. And it, it, I mean, there's yeah. creaminess and all kinds of things that offset it, but it's still saying, I'm a, yeah. I have a high rye mash bill. And if you're not a fan of rye, we, <laughs> we got an episode for you right up here because we have five reasons why you should try rye because we love rye and you should too. One, so two, join three, the party. Four, fifth. Yeah. This, it's also not as sweet. No, and not as sweet as all. I think that's why we like it more. Yeah. Like the for common sure. person tends to lean towards sweet so that's also why like buffalo trace is so popular because they lean on the sweetness and this leans away from the sweetness. but this also has a creaminess that buffalo trace brings with it this does but, but it, even that it's not like that ice cream yeah like, no it's not super creaminess. heavy but it yeah. is still creamy like and blanton's it, it it has that katana that's like <laughs> right through the cream it's that's very pleasant yeah the my sense of taste has the exact sound that you made <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah somebody's playing damn fruit ninja on the tongue <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm. yeah this is great this is it's good so good now are you gonna be able to find it i hope you can find it but i went and i found it at the liquor store and i was like oh do you still have this i a little birdie told me that you do have it and they're like oh we all we only have one left I was like, oh, yeah, okay. This, this, so this isn't as popular as some of the other things. So they haven't made it allocated, like to put in raffles or yeah. lotteries or you know whatever. But it's it's good enough that all people at liquor stores know how good it is, and a lot of times they hide it. 
I used to work at a liquor store. I know exactly what's happening. I've seen this in boxes under a desk. <laughs> like not on the shelf anywhere. No tag, nothing. Like this is just hidden. they just like they know that it's good, so they're gonna sell it to themselves. Oh, okay. Or to their preferred customers, which yeah. just means they're friends. Yeah. Which if any of you, you know, are liquor store owners and need a preferred customer <laughs> <laughs> right here. Hey. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's unfortunate that the common public doesn't get access to stuff like that because of just shadiness. You know, I thought of myself as above the common public, but you just you're shooting me down here. <laughs> you're really I'm just me trying to the highlight dirt. the shadiness of liquor stores because they either they'll put it on the shelf and then they just mark it up like crazy, depending on the establishment well, yeah. or what state you're in or whatever, or they just hoard shit yeah. for themselves. We need we need to get like a lobby set up. But just for liquor stores, so we can just pay them to give us, you know, exclusive rights to the really nice shit. Yeah. So it's a rough, it's a it's a hard balance to find. I mean, when I worked at the It's a hard store. knock life trying to collect bourbon. <laughs> hard knock life. It really is. And we once again, we do not pay secondary prices. <laughs> Screw that. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I got all the best shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I mean it's you're welcome to. Yeah, I it's, if it's your money, you can do what you want with it. Uh, like I said, I was raised by Depression era, era parents. I'm not. I'm not paying secondary prices. That's just me personally. So if I don't find it sort of in the wild for MSRP, or you know, every once in a while you can get these small little liquor stores or whatever that have something for MSRP and ten dollars just for greasing the skids. I'm, depending on what it is, I don't have a problem with that. But Secondary, secondary, or no? Yeah. No. For me, do be you. Something more you. about greasing the skids. Greasing the skids. It's just letter Kenny reference. <laughs> <laughs> letter Kenny. All right, so Jax. we're moving on. What what do we got for our, our last one? So this is a lo- so it's still twenty percent rye. So it is a high rye. It's still a high rye, but it's Ooh, not thirty five percent. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah. O-E-S-Q. I mean, I haven't tasted it, but on the nose, it's definitely different. You said O B S Q. O E S Q. O E S Q. O E S Q. Y M C A. O O E S Q. Q. What is a Q? I guess you'd have to do a lowercase. You well, no, you got to do this with a boner. You don't know. I was going to say that is. I was just the answer. I was going to say you don't know what you need for the Q, the little Q thing. I got you. Well, yeah, he's got the little Q thing. But you need to, you know, unless you've been in, well, not unless you've been in the water. No, no Q. It's just a no. A Q with a or an O with a splotch, <laughs> <laughs> a dot inside of the circle. A sloppy made <laughs> O. So this, wow. w- but this is higher proof though. Correct? This is way creamier on the nose. I mean, I don't know if it's creamier, but it's it's more. Uh, I feel like it's more intense as far as uh, elevated. Like this was a little richer, darker on the nose. The O B S V. And the OESQ is like it's more intense, but it's like a lighter note. There's a little more floral going on here. See, I get cream. I get like heavy. Oh no, I get it's, cream. It still has that, but it's no. I, I yeah, it's cream. The higher proof, it, it makes gives that mist that kind of happens when you have the higher proof. Mm-hmm. That's that's the thickness I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting more kind of a almost a fruit, almost approaching a fruit note. Yeah. Like someone's thinking about playing Fruit Ninja. Yeah, there we go. Thinking about it. The katana's I'm, just sitting yeah, there. It's just yeah, like, I'm ready. Cocked Come back. On. Yeah. We just got to taste it to see if it goes. I'm getting a little. Does like, anybody even know what Fruit Ninja is anymore? I hope so. <laughs> it's been I'm, a long time. Yeah, I think so. I'm getting a little uh, like rose petal. I mean, there's a little floral going on. All right. Not, guy. Yeah, okay. no, I'm, I'm, How okay. much are they paying you? <laughs> no, yeah. with, uh, Talk about lobbying. Uh, with you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. <laughs> we were totally paid for this review. Yeah. This not, is the best no wait there's, where, there's definitely where we f- get paid <laughs> oh you guys didn't get that check that <laughs> no, i got no, in the mail no. that was for all three of us yeah, yeah there you go <laughs> but it was sent to me directly <laughs> so i just cashed <laughs> in my bank account <laughs> no there's a definitely a floral note going on here there's other things too but there's a floral note i'm getting a little rose petal i'm serious you can laugh at me laugh at will mm, i'm ready to taste it i'm ready for it 
Ooh, it's more zippy. It's more zippy, all right. Whoa. Hot yeah. Da. Hot what? Da. Hot and it's a hot higher. Da. That's, hot a, da. that's a higher corn content, and still, it's it's more zippy. What is going on? That is a weird one. That's that's holy. Yeah, it's not katana. This is like a zipper, and you just missed zipping up what you didn't want to zip it's up. It's a taser. <laughs> well, once you zip it up, you get tased because you know you're doing something inappropriate in public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. Yeah. It's almost like you zip it up and get a little of that beans in the zipper. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely ah! this is some bean dip with a zipper. <laughs> okay, not, not any of the pork. Just hey, the, just the zip it up or zip it out. <laughs> <laughs> but both equal this taste. That's interesting. With, with the lower, this is more of a journey for with sure. With the lower rye mash bill, that's sort of unexpected. Yeah, I agree. But. It goes back to what we've said Ooh. and what I'm going to profess. The yeast makes a huge difference. I think the yeast strain is an un... Like an... I mean, it's the most important thing. Yeah. It's it definitely important. That's never really talked about. Nobody talks yeah. about it. Wow. Yeah. This is wild. Yeah. I mean, it's so... The yeast strain is so important. I should have some cranberry juice I'm <laughs> drinking here with the yeast infection. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a. I think that's urinary tract infection, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it depends. You know, depends. My bad. Speak for yourself. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. To each his own. <laughs> so this is like you got to cure that with uh, what is it? Invisalign. <laughs> 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 so that's for your teeth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that is for your teeth. It's like I'm going like what? Okay. It takes two to tango. Vi- <laughs> it takes two to cure. Vising? What? What's the thing? Not visine, for God. That's for your eyes. <laughs> Where wow. are you going with this? It's a high visine match. I'm trying belt. to talk about OESQ here. Okay? Yeah, and we're talking about yeast. Yeah, Mister Zippy. This, yes, this crotch, little crotch oh, pot oh, cooking. Yeast SQ. Little crotch yeah. pot cooking. That's yeah. what we got going on. This is this is wild. Yeah, this is unique. And honestly, uh, this one was harder to find. And for good reason. This one's really unique. Yeah. And offers something a little bit more special. See, I'm glad we had this one last as well because the barrel is coming through hot. Good thing I planned this out myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So and there's not as much rye, but you're getting some barrel on there too for the for spice. For sure. Yeah. And it's actually very different. The barrel is very heavy, but I actually get the barrel second to last i have the the spice spike but then there's another flavor no i I get the barrel last too there's a there's there's floral going on it's a it's it's a potpourri floral yeah it's that's what what i'm saying potpourri like that dried crap okay flowers or whatever potpourri going on there yeah strange it's it's a there's a big dip in the palate so you you take a sip and it like shoots way down and you and then it just all of a sudden Whoa! spikes up in the back yeah, of the palate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mid palate is really light, but it's like kind of tangy on the very tip of your tongue, and it just dips down and then explodes. Bam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it like needs the momentum down to explode. Yeah. I, I would agree with that one hundred percent. This is fun. I mean, this I is think probably that's the, uh, that's the proof. Yeah. That, that proof it carries the proof more than the first one did. And it is tangy up front a little bit, and then it carries that proof, kind of mm-hmm. hops over, and then just like pff, blossoms. So something that's interesting here on the on the little card they have, they know a banana flavor, and they are correct. There's a banana bread. You get some banana aftertaste. Hangs around really late. It's See, definitely banana bread. To me, I get too. It's too uh, like zippy. It's too. It's too dancey across the palate. It's to, all for aftertaste me to get banana. All aftertaste is the banana. That's what I'm doing now. No, I still get like spice. Like I get some spice going on, especially on the sides of the tongue. Like, man, for me, it's straight up banana bread. Interesting. Yeah, like, it's amazing. It's fantastic. There's a there's so I know that's what it said on there. I have realized recently that. That banana taste, which I like bananas, and I like make banana bread, and I like banana bread, and I make a good banana bread. But when it comes to bourbon, 
my palate is just missing. I mean, I did, because you said it, on the very aftertaste, there is a little bit of banana bread, a little slight hint. But, I mean, there's many different bourbons we've had before that says banana. I mean, there's certain, old yeah. fo- lots of times, Old Forester people go banana, banana, banana. It's like, I don't get that. I've never had this flavor on a, any other bourbon ever. For me, it's just very, very way and yeah. I'm getting a little bit of banana, a little bit of of a little too ripe a banana. Yeah, it's, it's is, like you know, it's it's been there for a while. You burp, and then like you know, you're like, oh wait a second, that yeah, I forget. I've been drinking all day. I haven't had any food. What does that bourbon taste like? That's what yeah. it, that's what you're tasting there. But somehow my palate misses in bourbon that banana flavor that other people mm. tend to get on certain things, and I'm going like banana. I'm not getting any banana. To me, but, this tastes like a like an extended family barbecue, like on my tongue. Ooh, ooh interesting. I got some like cherry. What, what do you mean by extended family barbecue? Like the vibe. You're just not not the anymore. taste of barbecue. You're like, I regret that I'm here. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, just like like everyone's kind of running around doing stuff. Like so, like there's pockets of things that are happening. Uh, the noise levels up. It's and it's just like like people are having a fun time, but it's kind of like whoa, what's going on here? Which is how I feel like extended family barbecues. <laughs> what's going on? Here? Like the like the, it's a good time, but like what the fuck are these? Well, people it's a good doing? time, but I just fed you the chicken that fell on the ground and I put it back on the grill. Also, I haven't cooked it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, the one I, the dog brought back to me. Did you ask? <laughs> did you ask for salmon or just salmonella? <laughs> well, good. man, I I gotta say, this is wild. This might be the best four roses thing I've ever had. Really, hot take. Yeah, are you kidding Dude, me? This is really fun. It's and, so fun. Yeah. Uh, one of our recent episodes we did, which was the uh, Barton, um, the one that. Uh, one of our fans, Brian, he sent us a bottle. Bardstown. Bardstown. Bardstown there we six. go. Bardstown. Yeah. That was a wild bottle. I mean, after the podcast, we were talking about what do we what would we put up against it? Well, I got one for you. Well, yeah, for Which the I ride. believe didn't I mention these? <laughs> you for did. The, for the ride. No, <laughs> for did. the ride, I sort of get it. Yeah. Yeah. The, this is a fun it's so wild. The OBSV is fantastic. That's bourbon. And I would, it's like an unexpected experience, but it does it well. In it's a like a roses. way better version of Blanton's yeah, or exactly. a Buffalo Trace For product. our palates, for sure. Yeah. Now, this one, this is... this is it's the Wild West out yeah, here, the, boys. The creme la creme pew, pew, or whatever, pew, you know? Pew, pew. The cream rises to the top. This is it. That's good. The yeast rises to the top. The yeast. <laughs> Q, the Q yeast. Yeah. Wow. I mean... Th- there it is. Austin's telling you how it is. Yeah. The, one of these days, we will do. We have more of these. Like, not all ten. We do not have all ten, but it would be fun to do a you know a five lineup or whatever, however many we have, I, and just go through. Four, them. Yeah. So I'll tell you this: my I didn't. My opinion of four roses did not go down. No, <laughs> nor at, should it. This makes me wish I got, I was able to find this because this is this is my bottle. The OBSV is my bottle. And then the o- OESQ is Ryan's. And uh, all I got to do is just swip the la- swap the labels. And I'm <laughs> there you go. Give them a little wet, you know? Uh, swap solid, it out. solid, solid. I mean, very solid. They're both, both so good. of them. Yeah. High, high proof. Mm. This one's definitely a journey, though. The, the aftertaste of this is amazing. The it proof of both of them is they're a little different, but not that different. No. And this is such a different profile. It's crazy. It, it it lasts forever. This is not stopping. Yeah, I cannot get it to stop. It can't stop. Won't won't stop. Won't, won't stop. The bad boy family. All right. <laughs> the well, bad boy go. family. You got the one, the two, the three, the four roses. The four roses. Four, four roses. What's up? One, two, three, four. <laughs> four roses. I feel like I'm like a you know throwing up some signs, but <laughs> it's just four. what's the uh, is it the lettuce fingers or whatever. Or the four salad fingers, <laughs> salad fingers, the weird cartoon. Yeah, that's how spoon. That's what you just did right <laughs> <Yeah>. there. 
Anyway. No one's going to know what no. I just said. Go look up Salad Fingers. You don't. Know? Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, it's weird. don't do that. All don't right. do that. So you like the, this video because you, you, know, you had a fun time. We had a fun time. This stuff is great. You like Four Roses. We like Four Roses. You like this video. You subscribe because you want to see our next content. You comment because you want us to try some other stuff that you, you know, maybe you're like, why haven't these guys done a review on this? Well, let us know what you want to do because yeah. we're all about the fans, okay? Yeah. You comment, I'll comment back. Trust me, it's just, it's going to be me commenting, okay? Oh, I'll get on there. <laughs> He'll try. Like, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk to you. Hey, we'll talk to you. So outside we, of that, we got nothing to do. Take it easy. Wink, wink, wink. Uh-huh.